Hey guys, what's up? Rolk here for smashing some more stuff today. Um, today's thing video is going to be an absolute beginner's guide. I mean, either you haven't started the game yet and you're thinking about it, or you just started it like two minutes ago. Okay, this is for you, right? This is an absolute beginner's guide. So we're going to walk through kind of, you know, the general game description. Well, what is it? Um, the general game play, the interface of how it works. Um, and some of the details of that. We're going to talk about the system that's in place, um, how the characters are built and whatnot, what makes them different, and what the progression looks like, resources in the game that are consumed um, and how they're used and what they're used for. Also we're going to look at game modes and then I'm going to give you some strategy for um, your game progression and stuff to get you kind of on the right track for starting out. So let's start right off. So what is Marvel Contest of Champions? Okay, Marvel Contest of Champions is a 2D fighter game. Um, you only move forward and backwards, okay? So just the one direction. There are 3D graphics, as you can see on the screen already. The characters are kind of, you know, 3D characters, but there's no depth. Like, you can't move in and out of the screen. You just move forward and back, right? So it's basic 2D fighter means you have light hit, medium hit, heavy hit. You've got special attacks. Um, and you can dash back and you can dash in and obviously you can block um, so those are just the basic gameplay of it um, what sets it apart from diff from other 2d fighting games like why is this one so cool well it's a lot of the extra abilities and synergies that come into play with it so a lot of the characters have very unique abilities that kind of match up with um, the character uh, and that really makes it a lot different than just your basic you know, punch, hit, kick, combo type game. Um, oh, and obviously it features Marvel superheroes. There's a huge roster of characters. I think they just hit 100 characters. Now we might be 101 playable characters in the game. Um, and they're adding more um, every other week. Usually about every two weeks there's another character added. Um, usually this coincides with... Um, any movie releases and whatnot, or you know, special events and stuff. So, um, like, so right now the whole thing's themed around Spider-Man because the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, movie is coming out, and the latest character they released is a new version of Spider-Man. So, all right, let's move right along. So, what's the gameplay uh, kind of look like? So, let's dive into a fight here. So. Well, actually, let's start out first of all. So the interface that you're seeing right here, right? I mean, there's a dialogue going on between characters. I'm just tapping the screen, and they're, you know, um, doing their little dialogue. So this is kind of how the stories progress along and are told in the game. Um, as you can see on the screen, there's an energy bar up top there um, in the orange with a little lightning bolt. Um, I have a lot of energy because I'm a very high level. Um... <clears throat> you use energy to progress across the map so this is a basic map and the first level of the story mode of the game this is where you'd be starting out as you can see you can pinch to zoom in and out on the map to look around you can grab it with one finger and just pan it around and have a look see what's up there so you see these black dots these are called nodes and there's lines that connect them now this is a sim very simple map there's only a single path you only have one option um, the place you're currently standing on is the white flashing node, which is down here, the white one. It's lit up, or blue, I guess it would be. And then any options that you have for nodes to go to from there are lit up in green. So if there was another path off of this that I could take, there would be two nodes that would be lit up in green. So all you do is touch the node, and as you can see, I burned a couple of energy out of my energy bar up there. So this is taking one energy to move each node. Different maps take different amounts of energy. So some of the harder maps will take, like, say, three energy every time you move one space. Um, so just be aware of that. They do vary, and usually it does tell you in the beginning. Um, so there's some more dialogue. So basically, so we got and we moved along until we met up with a character, and now it's going to take us into the fight sequence. Okay, so this is the um, fight screen where you're going to select your champ that you're going to um, perform the fight with, and it's also showing you who you're going to be fighting. Sometimes it's a mystery. Sometimes they don't tell you exactly who you're fighting. 
Um, so you have to try to be prepared for that. Um, real quick, you can see here next to the names of the characters, there's um, a symbol. So Gamora here has a planet type symbol here that's cosmic. Uh, Black Panther has a red fist. He is a skill class, so there are six different classes of characters in this game. Um, and they all have class relationships which make them stronger or weaker against other classes. You have, let's see if I can do this right, you have skill, you have science, you have mystic, you have um, cosmic, you have tech, and you have mutant. Um, so those are the six skill classes and in that order is kind of the general um, uh, class relationship of what's stronger against what. So as you can see here, Hulk is a science class. Okay, so science is weak against skill. So he might not be one you want to pick to fight Black Panther. Um, because what you see there um, in the middle screen there you can see his health and his attack and you can see that Hulk's health is being affected by minus seven or his attack you know is 48 minus seven and Black Panther is getting a boost to his 27 he's getting plus 11 that's because of the class relationship if there's no class relationship so like cosmic on skill Gamora there's nothing added or subtracted okay if I had um, a mutant character here who would have class advantage over Black Panther then they would gain a boost to their attack and ba Black Panther would gain a reduction in his so that's generally how the system works as you can see here there's kind of a, a little versus the little versus thing there with the meter um, that kind of has that arrow that points in one side or the other that's kind of giving you an indication of how likely you are to win the fight um, as you can see, every character has a rating next to them, like Gamora here is 214, Black Panther is 64. That's kind of a general index to indicate how strong a champion is. So when you're trying to, you know, kind of set up a matchup, you want to be bringing a character that has um, equal to or kind of higher than the rating of the character you're fighting. I mean, for the most part, as much as you can, um, that'll give you the best chance of winning. Excuse me. However, a lot of times, in once you get later on in the game, you'll have to be using a weaker character to fight a very, a much, much, much stronger character. Okay, and that just comes with skill and time. So let's dive right in here and see what the game looks like. So as I said, it's 2D fighter, just a bunch of um, you know light, medium type attacks. So right now I'm blocking by holding down on the left side of the screen. Um, you can see Black Panther's moving around doing some attacks and whatnot. Now I'm going to combo with uh, some light and medium hits, and then I might dash back, you know, so you can dash away, you can dash towards, you do that by swiping on either side of the screen. Um, if you swipe left, you're going to dash back. If you swipe right, you're going to dash in and do a medium attack. Okay, and like I said, there's diff three different attacks, you got light, you got medium, and you have heavy uh, light attacks you just tap on the right side of the screen um, so just single taps will do light attacks and you can do combos with those string them together usually it's about a five hit combo is the most you're gonna get um, and then like I said a medium attack is where you swipe um, to the right on the right side of the screen you swipe towards the right side of the screen on the right side of the screen where the opponent is um, so let's see there's a medium light 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 medium that's a pretty basic five hit combo okay and then like I said I'm holding block by holding my thumb down on the left side of the screen and I can dash in if I'm at a distance and it'll do a medium attack and you can see Punisher there just saved up for a heavy attack I'm gonna save up for a heavy attack and I'm gonna let that go so I, by doing that I'm just holding on the right side of the screen charging it up and then I release it now you can do that really long or you can do that really quickly like this okay now that heavy attack cannot be blocked so um, under most circumstances so if you're blocking it will a heavy attack will break through that block so see I'm blocking his regular hits but if he comes at me um, now there's a special attack we'll talk about that in just a second so if he comes at me with a heavy attack come on Frank you know you want to do it Come on, dude. Heavy attack. 
So I'm being able to block his, um, there's his heavy attack. So I'm just going to break through my block. So that's a good way to um, hit a character if they're blocking. Now, I don't highly recommend as a beginner that you do a lot of heavy attacks. It's very risky. You leave yourself open to getting hit. So stick to the medium, um, the kind of five hit combo, medium, light, 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 medium. Um, in the beginning, you're going to be doing a lot of dashing back and forward, okay? So your fight style is probably going to look a little something like this. So we can go through that. I'm just going to skip the dialogue. You guys get the gist of how that works. Okay, we're going to do Gamora. So you're going to kind of look like this. At the start of the fight, I'm just going to swipe away, swipe away, swipe away. I'm going to dash in, hit him a few times in his block, and I'm going to dash away, and come back in, and then I probably get my 5-hit combo. So if you just kind of rinse and repeat that, you'll be doing pretty well. All right, so the other one here, as you saw before, there are special attacks, and you can see the meter building up in the bottom. There's that green icon in my left that's telling me that I have a special attack built up ready to go. So I'm going to see if I can hit him with that. There we go. There's my special attack. All you got to do is just tap that green um, button there in the bottom. Watch your uh, opponent as they have um, the same thing in their side of the screen. If that is lit up, then you got to be aware that they might be able to hit that special attack. So if you dash in, you might get hit with that. Okay? So that's basic, basic gameplay. Like I said, 2D fighter, um, pretty easy and straightforward. So we're going to go back to the quest, and we're going to talk a little bit more about um, the system here um, as far as selecting your team at the start. So this is kind of the selection screen you can edit your team down here in the right corner you can see the uh, classes so it's telling you that there are the enemy classes that are on the map there's skill champions and there's um, science champions the order of those symbols um, is actually the class relationship I was talking about earlier so if you're wondering there it is um, from here you can hit edit team and we'll filter this down to look a little more appropriate to a beginner and from here what you do is you just tap and drag the uh, characters over and um, build your team so um, starting out I believe you only have three slots available and then as you level up um, as a summoner your um, the character you play in the game is a summoner as you level up which you can see up there up top up here I am at level um, 56 okay you're gonna start at one and then you gain experience every fight you do every time you move on a tile and that's building up your summoner experience um, and whatnot. So as you gain levels that will unlock different modes in the game, you'll also unlock these extra slots so that you can eventually bring five characters with you um, to fight. So when you're done, you just hit accept. Um, we go from there. There's also in team building, so one star characters don't really do a whole lot. But if you get into your two-star characters, okay, and anything above that, you're going to have team synergies, which is this. So see that symbol on the left of Colossus? So if I tap that, it's going to show me, hey, if you put this guy in there, you're going to get this boost, okay? So if I put Juggernaut, my three-star Juggernaut in there, see now they lit up, that means that I'm getting this. Um, and it says all champions gain plus 85% critical rating. We'll talk about stats in a minute. Um, so you can kind of boost up your champion, so that's getting the plus 115 critical rating. There's another critical rating one. Here's a plus 4% attack. So there's all kinds of different ones here that you can bring in and build with. There's another plus 4% attack. If I bring any of those two in, they will activate that boost for the team, right? And so that's going to boost up everybody in the team gains that boost not just the ones that it's lit up next to okay so if you have so like right now colossus and juggernaut both have a synergy but magneto is also benefiting from both of those synergies okay and anybody else i put on the team as well so whenever you're ready you just hit begin quest and draw off back into that map area where we were at the beginning okay so what next let's talk about champions okay let's dive a little bit more into the champions so we're gonna go to my roster so I'm gonna hit the menu thing up here hit champions and this is all the characters that I have currently in the game
Okay, it's a lot. All right, it's overwhelming. You're not going to have all these awesome characters to start with. You're going to start out with maybe a one star, uh, maybe a couple of two star characters. Okay, so let's look at two star characters because one stars honestly just don't do anything with them. Okay, and you're going to start out with a one star character. Keep them. Don't sell them. That's my recommendation. We'll talk about that later. But I wouldn't do much to them. Okay. Two star characters is where you really want to start out with, okay? Let's pick somebody like Wolverine X23. So I'm going to hit info and tap on her picture and I'm going to hit info. So here she is. Here's the character. It's going to give me some information as you can see here on the left. I'm going to tap this area and you can see the um, hero rating, you can see challenge rating, um, you can see rank and level, then there's also over here in the red that's attack, or that's health, and in the green there that is attack. Um, those are showing the, the number to the right, like 572 there for health, that's my base health, and then minus 9 is the um, augmented health that I have based on some different settings that I have, and and whatnot, some different things that I have going on, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but basically, so you have health, you have attack, um, you have level and rank, okay? So that's those. We'll talk about those in just a second. Um, other attributes that you have here, I'm going to slip this to the percentage thing because I feel it's just easier. So you've got critical rating. What is critical rating? Critical rating is uh, your chance to score a critical hit with each attack. So that's saying I have a 22% chance that every time I hit the opponent, that that attack is going to be critical. So what does a critical look like? Okay, critical damage rating. So this is saying when it goes critical, you get a 177% bonus damage um, dealt when landing a successful critical hit. Okay, so that's going to take 177% of my base attack, or I guess my augmented attack, and that's what's going to be dealt when it's a critical hit, and that's going to be 22% of the time. There's a few other stats here, armor penetration, block penetration, critical resistance, they're all zeroed. Um, that's, don't worry about those, okay, that's something they introduced um, a couple versions ago and it was a real, real mess. It didn't work, it really broke the game and how it worked. Um, it was just impossibly hard. Um, so as a result they zeroed those, but they're still in the game. Not sure if they're going to ever bring those back and retune them or if they're just going to drop them and get rid of them again. Um, because they were never there before. Um, but just ignore those for now. Don't even bother looking at them. They don't matter. They're all zeros on everyone, and all the way up to four and five star characters. Um, armor rating. I have 1.6% armor rating. So what is that? Reduces all incoming attack damage by 1.6%. So that is going to be kind of your, well, your defensive armor. So if you had zero armor, all of their attack and critical hit damage would come through. So what this is doing is it's reducing it by a certain percentage on all incoming damage. Okay. Um, block proficiency, so when you're blocking, this is how much percent is reduced of the attack damage that's coming in. So while they're punching you, you're taking less damage, um, and this is how much less you're taking. Okay. So basic stats, I mean, that's what you've got. So again, let's talk about a little bit more about level and rank, okay? So this, as you can see here, is rank one, level one character. So what does that mean? So how do you, how you make characters stronger in this game is you level them up first, okay? And then when they're maxed out on level, so once she reaches level 10, she'll be eligible to rank up, okay? So you would go through the progression and you'll know, we'll just go in here. So I could pick a bunch of stuff and I can level my character up. We'll talk about this stuff that's in here in just a second. So I can pick a bunch of stuff and you see there on the left, the experience meter is going up. I'm up now level 10 out of 10. Gonna do that. Now she's a, I leveled her up 10 levels. She's maxed out. So as you can see there, rank one of three. Now two star characters, you see that symbol there saying special three attack uh, unlocks at rank three that's only for two star characters anything above that um, three star characters four star characters five star characters all have all three special ability special attacks unlocked um, to start with okay um, 
one star characters don't ever get a third special attack. Um, the two star characters get it at rank three. Okay, so once you do that, you get the chance to rank them up. So I'm going to do this, and now she's at rank two. Okay, so this is how the progression of a character works. You do level up, and then let me get this. So now I leveled her up again, all the way up to max, and now I can rank her again. Okay, so now I can rank her up to rank three. As you see, all of her stats are kind of going up as we go along. You go back here, you can see her stats now. Her health is way higher. Her attack is much higher. Okay, everything's higher. Let's do... Let's do that. I'll just show you what it looks like here. We'll just max her right out. So as I'm going along here, I might as well talk about some of the resources that you use to do this. Um, what I'm using here is... ISO. This is called ISO 8. This is stuff that you earn throughout the game, okay, um, that helps you level up your characters. That's all it's used for. It's just used, um, you stuff it into your characters and it levels them up, right? And as you see, there's different classes, right? So the green is, this, is science, obviously mutant here is um, yellow, okay? So it matches with the characters. Um, in the bar you can see down there in the underneath the characters yellow um, as you see this as I select this so like so like this one in the top left corner says 325 when I click on it you see you notice that it goes to 488 and it says class bonus that's because I'm using the same class catalyst or ISO on the same class character okay if I use a science one on a mutant champion I get no bonus it's just 325 experience points okay so you want to try to match that up. Um, pay attention to that. You want to try to use those. The gray ones that I was using earlier, those are generic. They'll do. They'll work on any. I mean, you can use. Obviously, I can use all these science ones on her. It's not going to stop me. But I'm not going to get that 50% bonus. So it's kind of a waste. General, generic ones, the gray ones, they don't give anybody a bonus. Okay, it's the same no matter who you use them on. All right. So let's just finish her out here just level her up you will not be leveling up this quickly <laughs> okay it's gonna be a very slow process for you right um, I have a lot of resources so I can just show you so now she's maxed out we've gotten her to rank 3 level 30 she's max you see the little green symbol there okay so she's maxed out now she has her third special attack unlocked okay as you can see her stats all went up so her health is much higher, her attack is much higher. Let's go back to the percentage here. Her critical rating is just a little bit higher, not a lot. Um, critical damage again, a little bit higher, not much. Armor rating's gone up quite a bit, and block proficiency a small amount. So not a lot of changes to those. Those tend to be kind of pretty much maxed out now in the way the system is working. Um, but anyhow, so you, that's how you level up your characters and get stronger, okay? Um, now let's take a look over here at uh, the next one down, special attacks, right? So this is just a list of special attacks, kind of tells you generally what they do. It's not a great description, really. There's synergy bonuses down here. We talked about those earlier. So here you can look at all the synergy bonuses that this character has. Um, so she gains a family level one synergy bonus with Wolverine or Old Man Logan, and all champions gain plus four percent health. So again, that applies to any champions that you bring in that team when you bring them. Okay, there's a bio button down here, so you can read a little bit about the character. Who is this character? If this is not somebody you've ever seen before, X23, then you can find out kind of a little bit about them. Um, then over here on the right side is the abilities screen. Okay, this is a big one. All right. So as you can see here, um, we need to touch a little bit on um, signature ability. Okay, so see the stars on hers um, are silver up here in the top left corner. They're two silver stars. Um, she's a two-star character, and the silver stars mean that she has been awakened her signature ability. Okay, you can... Um, now, signature ability is something that's just kind of very specific to that character. Like, um, 
like for instance, Wolverine, uh, his signature ability is cellular, cellular regeneration, right? He has crazy, crazy regen. Um, he can heal himself like really fast, so that's his signature ability. Spider-Man classic, his signature ability is evade. Um, it's his spider sense, that's his signature ability, so it gives him the ability to evade. Until he has that unlocked, he doesn't do that, okay? Um, so how do you unlock a signature ability? Um, you do it by either pulling a duplicate of the same champion. Now that has to be the same tier, okay? Meaning if you have a two-star Wolverine X-23, you have to pull another two-star Wolverine X-23. If you pull a three-star, that's not considered a duplicate, okay? They're separate, so they won't unlock, all right? Um, or you can use certain items that will allow you to um, immediately unlock that, and then you can use those items to level it up. Um, also, if you duplicate them more and more once their um, signature ability is already awakened, it will just add levels to it and make it even more powerful. Um, so you can kind of read through different ones, but you know, basically, it's you know you can read through these and stuff so then it goes into abilities so she has some abilities when she's attacked she has like a 15 percent chance to regenerate up to a certain amount of health over four seconds now that'll change as she levels up obviously she's maxed out so they're not moving um, all attacks 15 percent chance to regenerate up to this much health over four seconds based on stored power that's the power meter okay your special attacks um, critical hits, so when she's scoring critical hits, she has some abilities that have a chance to inflict bleed. Now, bleed is kind of a really interesting thing that sets this game apart from other 2D fighters. I think, I haven't seen it before, um, where if she triggers this bleed effect, this bleed ability, basically for um, five seconds it's saying she is going to inflict 200.1 damage. Um, over five seconds so that's going to be spread out um, so every second there's just going to be kind of a tick of red damage coming off the opponent even if you're not hitting them they're getting damage so it's imagine they're bleeding out their health right um, yeah and then so do, 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 do. then it talks a little bit more about special attacks and heavy attacks and some different abilities there so you can read through those of the different opponents um, characters you get, I highly recommend you read through those, kind of try to understand a little bit of what's going on there, and um, it'll give you an idea of what will be good matchups and stuff, and definitely look at that when you're fighting opponents, okay, don't just go rush into the fight, take a look at their abilities on their ability screen, and see what it's going to take to beat them, right? Alright, so now that's pretty much your rundown of character advancement and getting stronger, um, let's talk a little bit more about the resources. So as you saw there, um, what I was using to do the leveling up of this character was gold. So every time I, you know, picked some ISO to um, ISO 8 to stuff into the character, it was using gold. So we'll go to Deadpool Hero Upgrade. So if I click that, see down here in the bottom it has level up, 364 gold. So you spend gold to level up your characters. If you don't have gold, you and you have a ton of ISO, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to use it, okay? So you need to go get gold in order to use that stuff. Same thing with ranking up. Um, now, when we do the rank up, just use some stuff here. So once we're here, um, if we do the rank up, you'll see these are using catalysts, okay? This is a tier one basic catalyst. This is what's required to rank up your champion, find more in special events. So let's take a look at this. So what does it take to get them ranked up? Okay, here's a little graphic that's going to show you this. And I think I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that bigger. Okay, there you go. So, um, again, kind of ignore the one-star characters. It doesn't mean much. Um, Two star characters take them from rank one to two. It takes, you know, two uh, tier one basic catalysts. Again, gray is basic or kind of generic. Um, you'll see that, well, like with X23, we had to use the yellow catalysts with her once we got to the higher rank. Those are the mutant catalysts. You have to have class specific catalysts to um, rank up your characters. Um, so, this is the cost of what it takes to do that. 
Um, when you get to a three star character, you see these ones here look a little bit, um, the gray ones there look a little bit different. They are, um, those are tier two catalysts on rank one to two and rank two to three. Um, and you see the similar shape in the red class catalysts next to them. And then they're at the bottom to take them rank three to four. That's a tier three class cat, or, um, sorry, generic catalysts. Um, and you can see kind of over here on the sides giving you a description. So the tier ones um, are found on easy levels. You can see over there on the right side of the screen. Um, tier twos found on medium levels. Tier threes found on hard levels, right? So that's going to tell you where you're going to find these things. Um, so let's move on up. We'll just talk real quick here about four and five stars. You're not really going to have to worry about this for quite some time probably. Um, as you can see it ramps up here and it involves even more complex um, catalysts that are even harder to get and then you've got these blue ones which are your alpha catalysts and those tier 4 catalysts which are the really um, you know ones with a lot of knobs on them they're the gray ones. Those are found in special events and alliance events and um, we'll talk about alliance events and uh, modes in another episode because it's an entire thing in itself um, so yeah so that's just kind of a general idea of what it's going to take to get to these things and then at the bottom here you can see where it's saying um, you know, okay there you go basic catalyst basics come from proving grounds class catalysts come from daily events and alpha catalysts come from special events right so I'll show you I'll, we'll talk about those in a minute um, so let's turn that off get back to our game okay so here we are back to Mr. Deadpool. So we spend gold, we use catalysts to rank up our champions, we use ISO to level them up. Um, other resources are units. Okay, so up here in the top right corner, these little silver chips that you see up there, um, these are units, okay? And obviously you can see when I tap that, I get all these offers to spend real money in the game. This is a free-to-play game, but you there are offers to spend money. Units are kind of the lifeblood of the game, okay? These are the most precious resource that you have. You don't get a lot of them unless you are going to pay for them, like you can see here. Um, but they are used for so many things, okay? Um, so hold on to them, okay? Kind of hoard them, units, those silver chips, right? Um, they're really important. You don't want to spend those frivolously, okay? And we'll talk a little bit later about what you should be saving and what is okay to spend and when. Um, <clears throat> so what else we have? Um, so we talk about gold, talk about ISO, catalyst, battle, uh, battle chips. Okay, battle chips are another resource that comes from arena as you'll see the um see where i have my gold up there in the top it says four million one hundred and four thousand five hundred twenty one um if i go back to my home screen here now see that symbol there with the blue in the center and that had the gold wings on it let's just real quick bring that up there it is up there in the top corner again twenty six thousand of them um these things here, okay? You see them there? That symbol. Those are going to, um, those are battle chips, okay? You win those from Arena, and as you, obviously, as you can see, I can use them to buy these special crystals, which are going to get me different things, okay? Um, not really used for anything else in the game. Really, it's just used for that and then some alliance stuff. So as you get those, you're probably in the beginning stages, you're really free to just go ahead and spend those. Um, loyalty, that's that one that's up in the corner right now, 461,000. Again, those can be used to purchase these crystals down here um, for loyalty points that they come purely from only alliance stuff. Um, again, we're not going to talk about that in this episode, but... Um, you can go up here into the store on the far right and you can see that here you can use your units to spend on different things you can get energy refills you can get these um, different bundles of potions and crystals and revives and all kinds of stuff like that to keep you going along through the game 
where you can spend stuff. All these again, these are units. So again, these are precious. Don't don't waste your units frivolously. Here's loyalty. You can use these loyalty points to buy some other different things. As you can see, there's a couple champions here that you can buy. If you save up a ridiculously crazy amount of them, you don't get a lot of loyalty really fast. It's taken me a long time to get up to 461,000. So these uh, these characters are a bit far away. Um, then there's mastery items. Again, you're spending units and miscellaneous. So that's the store where you can buy some stuff. Um, up here, you also have your inventory. You can check how many catalysts you have, the different classes. Um, okay, here's an interesting thing. Fragments, right? So you see those little blue bars underneath these? They're a lot of times you'll get fragments you'll get just pieces of a catalyst not a whole entire catalyst you'll get fragments and once you have enough fragments it'll form an entire catalyst right so like my tier 2 basic catalyst there in the middle on the top it says I've got 641 out of 650 shards so if I get nine more um, sorry fragments of that catalyst it'll form a whole entire one and I instead of having 12 I will now have 13 that I can use okay Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. You get enough fragments to make a whole one, you get a whole one. Um, sometimes you can find a whole one as well. Um, ISO, you can look at your resources of how much ISO you have. This little corner symbol up here in the top right that's bouncing there, um, the little gray box with the green thing around it, That's this is your stash. So anything extra that you can't keep in your inventory at the moment, see this is saying my ISO 8 inventory is full use them up to upgrade heroes and come back so I can only keep so many of these in my um, in my thing was say 45 out of 45 that's my capacity at the level I'm at now starting out you're gonna have much much less that you can keep in there right um, but as you use them up just go up here to the stash and go ahead and claim stuff there's a filter here that you can you know filter it out by only certain class and whatever or go to sort and go by value so you can see all the you know the highest value ones or which ones are expiring as you see there is a timer on these see these are 26 days left on them um, at 26 days if you don't use it or sell stuff um, it's gone okay it's not going to be there so kind of pushes you to keep using your stuff also catalysts here you can see I've got some catalysts waiting um, see how they're all colored in and these are gray um, the gray ones, I'm full. I can't take any more. If they're all filled in with color, then that means that I can take some. So I'm just going to hit claim max. And there we go. It took a whole bunch of my stuff. Now they're gray. I'm full. I can't take any more of these, right? So that's where kind of your overflow stuff goes. You'll also find some, they'll have different um, specials go along. These daily cards, if you buy them for money, then, you know, they'll give you something every day if you log in. Um, there's other rewards from events and stuff here that you can claim, ISO and then items, so overflow of heals, potions, um, boosts that go along with the game, energy refills, etc. Um, they'll all be in here. Okay, so that's your inventory items. There's, like I said, there's the lightning bolts there. Those are energy refills, so if you run out of energy, you can use them to fill the bar back up and keep playing. Otherwise, you can wait for the timer to fill it back up. Generally, how free-to-play games work. Um, a lot of these are just boosts that will help enhance your champions and give you an edge. These down here are, signet, or are awakening gems. These are what I told you will instantaneously unlock your um, signature ability. If you have one of those, these are class-specific. So like this red one here, I can only use on a skill class character. I can't use it on a cosmic or mystic one. Um, what else down here? These kind of um, uh, hexagon shaped ones. These are signature stones, so these will add levels to your um, signature abilities. Okay, so if I use that, it gives me a choice of people I want to use it on. And let's we'll just go to, I don't know, Thor and see that saying I use one. It'll take him from level 35 up to level 36. Okay, max level is 99. So you can use those to level up the signature ability of your characters, which will make that a stronger ability. Down here, these are boosts for arena. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. And then here, these are uh, different levels of 
potions. These regenerate some of your health, so this gives you 375 health to one champion. There's team ones, so like this one here is a team health potion. It's going to give 250 health to each team member that you have. And then you've got these green ones are revives, so if you get knocked out completely, um, you can use one of these to bring all your characters back to life and give them a certain percentage of health back. Pretty basic stuff. And I won't talk about that stuff in the bottom just yet. So there's your inventory, um, all your resources. The other thing you can get are crystal shards and crystals. Okay, so let's go to the crystal section talk about this this is how you get new champions okay and this is also how you get boosts um, so like here these are my arena boost crystals okay so if I open these they're gonna give me those boosts that I saw in my inventory I already have a lot of them so I'm, I'm leaving them there kind of saving them at the beginning you know as long as your inventory is not filled up you can just go ahead and open everything pretty much um, quest crystals you'll get those just from playing story quests or event quests um, they give you basically what they give you iso some energy refills rarely and sometimes you'll get some units but mostly you just get a little bit of small iso in there um, free crystals you can claim these every four hours you can just go ahead and hit claim as you see I have 16 saved up so every four hours you just go hit the claim button and back up and save them but if you open these, they basically are going to give you some health potions, some revives, and maybe some energy refills, okay? And those are free. You get those every four hours. You can claim one. Um, we'll get to premium hero crystals as well. All right, so premium hero crystals. All right, these are kind of the main crystal that you're going to see. You can buy them for 100 units a piece here, okay? I really don't recommend doing it. Um, as a beginner, save those units. They're your precious. You need to spend them on other things other than trying to get new characters. I know it's going to be exciting and you're going to want to get new characters as much as you can, as fast as you can, but hold off. Trust me. Um, fight the urge, but it's okay every now and then if you want to spend some uh, on those. So what are these going to get you? So these give you a chance. Um, it guarantees a two-star hero with a chance of up to a four-star hero. So it's very rare, I will tell you right now, to get a four-star character out of this. Um, very rare. Sometimes it happens for people frequently, and then it'll go like six months, and you won't see a single four-star character out of this. Pretty much you're going to get a two-star character out of these things, okay? Maybe occasionally you get a three-star. There's a fair chance of that if you open a significant amount of them, but um, there's always hoping. Um, but pretty much you're going to get you more two-star characters. Uh, what else do you have? Gold crystals. If you buy those with units, they will give you guaranteed a gold um, of varying amounts depending on what uh, the random number generates. Um, daily crystals. You get to pick one of these a day. This is free. Um, you get to go and claim it. So as you can see, i got 12 hours before I can claim the next one. So these have a chance of giving you anywhere from a 1 uh, to a 3 star character. And um, what else? Like ISO. Occasionally you'll get some catalysts out of it as well, some class catalysts and stuff. Arena crystals, you saw me buy one of those earlier, so those are going to give you units. Um, you have a very, 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 very small chance of getting Punisher, either in a 3-star or 4-star. I have never gotten a 4-star Punisher, and I've opened thousands and thousands of these crystals, so it's very rare to find that, but I have gotten a couple of 3-stars. Um, so you can use those. Those are, I would say, go ahead and spend those right away until you get into an alliance. Um, and then the alliance crystal is going to give you boosts. It gives you a chance at getting an unstoppable colossus as a two star or three star. Um, and occasionally you might get like a signature stone out of that. Okay, crystal shards. So sort of similar to what we talked about with the catalysts, um, where you're collecting fragments with crystals, you're going to possibly collect shards. Occasionally you'll get an entire crystal like what I have back here. Um, here's an entire four star hero crystal, right? It's a whole crystal. I got that from one of the uh, finishing one of the quests. Um, but a lot of time you're just going to get little shards, um, pieces of them here and there. And once you build up enough, then you can cash it in and get a whole crystal. So as you can see here, I've got 4,971 four-star hero crystal uh, shards, and it takes 2,000 to form a whole crystal. So technically, I could get two uh, whole four-star 
crystals there. So the difference on these, like I said, premium hero crystal guarantees you're going to get a two star. You have a very rare chance of getting a three or a four star. Um, a three star hero crystal is going to give you nothing but three star. You cannot get a four star out of this, okay? Um, you will only get a three star character out of it. Um, same with the four star character, you'll only get a four star. And a five star, you will guarantee you get a five star. Five star are very, very rare. You see, I have these saved up. That's because I'm a very high level and I get a lot of these now because I play a lot. At the beginning, you're going to be lucky to just be getting premium hero crystal shards, okay? And as soon as you get them, just pop them open and hopefully you'll get some new characters and you'll build up your roster really quickly and go from there. And then up here you have the um, most expensive one, which is the featured hero. So this is the brand new character, right? And then any of the recently featured characters that have come out of that um, as a five star. Now this takes, you see here, 15,000 shards to get one of these versus 10,000 shards to get a regular five star character crystal. Now what's the difference? So these are the basic characters, right? These are the the old characters that have been around for quite some time um, that you can get. You see Captain America, Black Panther, now Gambit's in there, Ultron. These guys have been around a long time. Spider-Man, Magic, Storm. Um, they've been around a long time. So they're kind of in that lower pool. If you're willing to save another 5,000... Um, sorry, low battery. If you're willing to save another 5,000 and spend you know another 50%, these give you an increased chance of getting the featured character, which is the new Spider-Man there um, that they just released. Now, it's not a guarantee. You will not guarantee to get that, okay? If you spend that, it's like a 20 to 25% chance that you're going to get that, that specific featured character. Otherwise, you're just going to get someone else. So crystals are how you get new characters, save up those shards and, you know, form entire crystals and then you can open them from there. And that's how you're going to grow your roster um, going that way. Um, what recommendation I have for you uh, in building your roster and progressing through the game is do not sell characters. I mentioned that before. Why do you not sell characters? Because if I pull... A duplicate three-star character okay what that's going to give me is gonna one it's gonna unlock the signature ability if it's not already unlocked if it's already unlocked then it's going to add levels to that signature ability for a three-star character duping one of those is going to add uh, eight levels on the signature ability I believe but it's also going to give you some class ISO so if I dupe a three-star science character like Spider-Man, I'm going to get a bunch of um, science class ISO, which is good. And it's also going to give me 55 four-star hero shards, okay? So if you duplicate a three-star, you get 55 uh, four-star shards. If you duplicate a two-star character, which you'll do a lot because those premium hero crystals give you a lot of two-stars, right? Um, Every time you duplicate a two star, you'll get the ISO and you'll also get 55 three star hero shards, right? So as you can see, like if you keep those characters, you don't sell them and you build up that roster, even if you're not leveling, excuse me, if you're not leveling up those characters, right? If you're just letting them sit there and you just keep pulling duplicates of them, you're gaining those shards that you wouldn't be otherwise getting, all right? If you sell them all the time, you're not going to be getting all those shards. Trust me. If you do this, you'll end up with more in the long run. Somebody who sells them will end up more in the short term, but in the long term, you're going to outclass them like crazy. Okay, I get, you can see all these shards. I already spent a whole bunch of these, and this is just from saving for like a week what I have, okay? Um, so don't sell them, all right? And then if you duplicate a four star, I think it's like 250 five star shards. So really guys I mean even if you have a two-star spider-man and a three-star spider-man you get a four-star spider-man don't sell off the two and the three star just because you have the four keep them if you get another one you get some more shards and then it's gonna give you a chance at getting another four-star character okay that's my recommendation I highly recommend that that's the route you go if you choose otherwise it's up to you but that's worked out really well for me so that's some good tip for starting out 
Um, so that's about what we have for resources. Let's talk really quick. I know this is getting long. Video about game modes. There's a lot to cover. Um, game modes. I'm going up here to the top here, and I hit fight. Um, so what do I have? I have story quests up here in the top left corner. That's where we started out. You've got different acts, and in those acts are different chapters, and those chapters are different um, missions, I guess you'd call them. Right, so uh, you can click here on the view rewards, and that'll show you what the rewards are. So if I complete the entire act, all four chapters, I get, you know, this premium hero crystal, and I get some, you know, pretty big uh, generic ISO. If I do 100% and I explore all the paths that are on every single one of those chapters, then I will get a whole three-star crystal there, as you can see I got. And then for each chapter, you get completion and exploration rewards for each of those. So you can see I already got all these, but real quick I'll kind of give you a taste of what you got coming up. So Act 2 rewards, um, that's going to get you just for finishing it, you're going to get a whole three-star character. Um, exploring it, you're going to get another three-star character. Along the way you're just going to get a lot of ISO. I think it's all just ISO. Once you get to Act 3, okay, Finishing that's going to get you a three star, 100% completion. All the paths is going to get you a whole four star character. Okay, so that's what you should aim for. And this is really what I kind of would recommend starting out is you know aim for the story um, quest. The act one is super easy. I know it's going to be. I say that and you're going to find it frustrating. You're going to find it hard until you get the game system down and your movements of how to fight. Um, but this is a good place to practice. I mean, they're low-level characters. They give you a lot of XP for each one that you um, win. So it's a good place to go. And as you can see, like I said, the, the rewards just start ramping up. So in here, you're getting more ISO. Yeah. Until you get up to here to Act 4, which I just finished. And I'm working on 100%. You can see those rewards. I mean talk about ramping up all right there's a whole four star characters crazy amounts of five star character shards um, signature stones these are generic ones all kinds of good stuff okay all kinds of good stuff in these and then all the way up to act five which is the most recent one that was just released and i can't see those because i have not completed them yet they're hiding them well there's act there's chapter one, just finishing chapter one and chapter two, and the rest have not even been released yet, so they're working on it. But stick to story, that's a good place to start. Um, you just go through there and that's you'll see the dialogues and stuff and kind of get the um, what's going on through the game. Um, event quests. Uh, here's where you're going to go if you need catalysts, okay? So you have the daily one here, you see this mystic one, mystical turbulence, so you can see the catalysts there that are listed. You have easy, medium, hard. Um, it's giving you a recommended team rating up at the top. It's telling you how many energy it takes per tile. And the catalysts there are showing you kind of what the rewards look like, what you could get out of those. So <clears throat> um, this is where you would go if you need to get a specific type of catalyst. So fight through those you may get a whole one you might only get fragments but save them up and you'll get there um, you also have the daily proving grounds this is a daily quest resets every single day and so does this one the class one resets every day and every every day of the week it's a new class there's six classes so um, every day except for Sunday is kind of like a general free-for-all one but there's a different featured class every single day um, same for the daily proving grounds this is always generic but it resets every 24 hours. Um, again, same thing. This is where you can come and get your generic ones, easy, medium, and hard. And then over here is the expert proving ground where you can get um, pieces of the tier 4 uh, generic ones, which are very difficult to come by. Um, you also have the monthly event quest here. This is, um, well, I was going to say, um, story mode is going to give you mostly gold and experience. Um, the monthly event quest here, which is going to be based on the featured heroes that they're releasing, or right now there's Spider-Man for the Spider-Man Homecoming movie that just came out. Um, it's going to be kind of based around something like that. These ones are going to give you mostly ISO. You're going to get a lot of ISO from these in the monthly event quest, and you're going to get a fair amount of gold, but mostly 
this is where you're going to get a lot of ISO, okay? This is where you're going to build up your ISO stash. And it's only around for a month, okay? So go play it. Um, you can see the rewards in there. There's different levels. Beginner is super easy, okay? Go ahead and start there. There's titles that you can earn from finishing 100%. There's completion. There's 100%. Um, I really strongly recommend that what you should be shooting for is you should be shooting to hit... Um, 100% complete normal difficulty. What that's going to get you is a thousand three-star hero crystal shards. That's half of a whole. That's half of a crystal. Um, and it, you see here, it's going to give you an entire three-star character. Okay, going to give you a three-star character if you 100% all the paths in that. It's not too terrible. I mean, it's going to be difficult once you push to the end, uh, but that's a good test. You should be able to pretty comfortably go through that and you know 100% that and start building up your roster with three star characters and stuff before you move into heroic and eventually master which is like super super hard and you see the rewards just ramping up like crazy okay um let me see how am i doing on yeah check out i'm doing on battery here real quick seven percent i'm doing good okay so that's the event quests um, like I said, I, I highly recommend doing the monthly event quest and then doing the daily things as you need um, catalysts and stuff from them. Versus, this is also known as arena, okay? Here's something that you're going to want to do. When your characters are in a quest, they are locked in that quest. So you can only be doing one story quest or one event quest at a time, okay? You can't use you know, three characters in story and then use three different characters in the event quest you certainly can't use the same characters in anything okay but in arena you can use them no matter what so if you're using them in story quest and you run out of energy and you can't fight anymore you can come over here to arena and you can pick characters and you can fight so you can do one-on-one -on -one as a quick match now this is not this is not a live match okay they found a person here but this is not me fighting a live person. This is me fighting the AI controlling their person, right? So, give you a little taste of some gameplay here. Let me open some butt. Hopefully this is lag-free coming through. Um, so going here, you get just like a quick little one-on-one -on -one match. Um, like I said, you, all you're fighting here is the AI. You're not fighting a real person controlling this character. Um, everything here is AI only. There is no live battling between um, real people. Even in the Alliance stuff, you set your characters and the AI controls them, and, and then you go fight AI-controlled versions of the characters. Um, so you can see she's built up to her level two. I'm just trying to. Oh, I got parried there. Um, come on, I'm just pushing through it here right now, trying to see if I can finish her off before she. There we go. That was kind of long. I was distracted and played terrible, but you can go there and play that. Um, as you can see, it gives you some ideas of match one and the rewards. So uh, from that, I get a versus crystal. And from there, I can win gold, I can win battle chips, and I can win energy refills. So I highly recommend you do that. Um, that'll help build up those your resources. You get those battle chips so you can get those arena crystals. And then from there, you can get more gold, more ISO, and you can get more units. So that'll help you get more characters or help you get um, your masteries unlocked, which we're going to talk about next. But as you can see here, then there's 3 versus 3. And this one here has only 1 and 2 star characters. So it's a good place to start for beginners. Once your roster builds up, they've got a three versus three where you get a team of three and you fight a team of three um, of two and three star characters, um, three and four star characters, and then finally four and five star characters. So there's different um, arenas for different levels uh, of what you have. And as you can see the rewards, you can get milestone rewards for getting a certain amount of points so you just get 200 or 2500 points and you get these milestones and so on and so on as you go down the way okay all the way until you get to the maxed out one 
which is going to give you, you're getting units, you're getting battle chips, you're getting gold, you're getting shards, okay? So you, you can see doing these, this is how you're going to get some new characters, you're going to get units, you're going to get battle chips, that's all good. Um, if you hit the rank rewards, which means I think this one you have to be over 30,000 points, um, depending on what percentage you are amongst other players who played and competed in their scores, you get extra stuff extra rewards so you can see these are pretty nice like there's 2,000 um, premium hero crystal shards that's a whole crystal okay um, some of these other ones once you get up here into the 3v3 on the three star arena you can win um, the milestones are about the same but you can win an entire champ look there you can win a whole three star um, new character okay and then four star shards and three star shards um, and this is also where you use those arena boosts to help boost up your um, score. So as you go in here, um, you pick a team of three. Real quick, I gotta show you this. Um, it gives you three options. I always just pick the top one, it's the easiest one. I don't know why they even give you the other ones, they're always a little bit harder. Um, you can shuffle around your characters here. It's gonna show you where you have class advantage and disadvantage. So red arrows means you're at disadvantage. You can see their rating going down and up accordingly. You want to try to shoot for green arrows to get those class advantages. Be aware of, like Magneto over here, he's got a signature ability unlocked. So you see those silver stars. When you see the gold stars, it means they don't have the signature ability. You're just going to have to get familiar with the AI, get familiar with the different characters, what their abilities are, how they fight, what they do. Um, so it's going to give you three separate matches. Okay, so it's one-on-one, -on -one, three times. Um, so we'll go in here and we'll do this real quick. This is a brand new system that they just implemented. Um, that just kind of speeds you up through the arena, makes the fights go a little bit faster. So as you can see, I'm blocking and I'm hitting, and I'm evading and I'm coming in, and eventually we beat him. Okay, so it's going to say, here's what you earned, here's your rewards, um, and the points that I earned, I got 680 points there, so I'm going to hit next fight and just go right through them. What I want to show you is the multiplier that's coming up here. So we're going to just fight through this. And these are pretty quick. Like I said, I mean, once you're out of energy and you can't do story quests and stuff, you can come over here and just use your whole roster again and just burn out some... And just keep playing. You don't have to sit there not playing, okay? There's always something to do. Okay, we got some more points, we got some more rewards, all right, gonna go to the final fight. Got our fight Ultron, we got our nice Quake here, she's pretty awesome. Oh, don't get hit. There we go. Keep hitting them with these heavies. She has that special ability. See, and that stuns him. I'll trigger my special. There we go. And he's done. Yeah, I win. All right. So I won all three matches. Okay, I got 2,076 points, and the next milestone's at 2,500. I got some small rewards for it. Um, so once I've won all three, you know, we have to win two out of three to win the series. Okay. If you lose two out of three, you're done. So you see the multiplier up there, it says 1x, now it changed to 1.25x, and it shows my win streak is 1, okay, and it gave me rewards for winning all three matches, okay. Um, so as you keep winning, you're going to keep gaining that multiplier all the way up to a 3x multiplier, so the points that you see there are going to get multiplied times 3 for every match you win. And holding that streak of continuous wins is going to keep that multiplier up. Once you lose a series, meaning you don't win two out of three matches, then your win streak gets reset to zero, your multiplier gets reset to one. Okay? Um, so here you can go to, what is this, next series? Oh, okay. Gotcha, it's just going to get you set. And you can hit these little help buttons if you're in an alliance, and it will request help. But again, we're not going to talk much about alliance stuff um, right now. Okay. How am I on my battery? i got to keep checking here. 3%. Yikes. All right. Give me one second. I have to... I'm going to get... Um,
the cord and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now we're back up and going. We got battery charging. Okay, so what else do we have to cover? Cover the different game modes. Um, I already talked about kind of which game modes you should be focusing on, um, what you should be saving, what you should be, um, what's okay to spend. What's okay to spend? Um, go ahead and spend that low-level ISO. Go ahead and spend your ISO, okay? Um, go ahead and spend your gold. I don't recommend, like I said, pick, don't do the one-star champions. Pick a couple of two-star champions that you like um, or that seem good or if you get a duplicate. Um, if you dupe one and you unlock their signature ability and it's a good signature ability, focus on that. Try to get them ranked up. So go ahead and spend your gold. Spend your ISO on ranking up characters, especially if you get a three-star character. Go ahead and rank them right up. A four-star, absolutely rank them up. Um, and the low-level catalysts, like your tier one catalysts, your general ones, your tier twos, go ahead and just spend those. They're easy to get from those daily proving grounds like I showed you. Um, the event quests on the dailies. Um, you might just have to wait for the week to go around, like if you're looking for a specific class, like if I don't get the mystic ones I need now, um, on this, then I have to wait a week until Mystic comes up again, but, you know, go for it. I mean, they, they're easy to come by, so don't sweat it. Um, go ahead and spend that stuff. The higher stuff, like uh, Tier 3 General or Basic Catalysts, um, save those. Don't sell them, um, especially, like, if you get uh, tier 3 class catalysts that you're not using yet or you don't have anybody to use them on, do not sell them unless you absolutely have to. Like they're expiring in your stash and you can't do anything about it because you can't use them. It's the only time it's okay to sell them. Um, but wait until the very, very, very last minute. Um, those things are so hard to come by, um, especially if you get to the tier 4 class catalysts. Those are insanely hard to come by. Tier 4 basic catalysts. Um, tier 1 alphas, um, they're pretty hard to come by for a while, eventually you'll just be flooded with them and you'll have more than you know what to do with, but uh, tier 2 alpha catalysts, those are very rare, they're for only used for ranking up 5 star characters, so save them, um, yeah, but otherwise, like I said, save your units, now, what should you be spending your units on, this is the final thing that I want to touch on, okay, the final thing that we need to touch on is masteries, okay? Once you get far enough in the game that you have the ability to start unlocking masteries, you go up here to your summoner profile on the top, just tap on your little name there, um, and hit that mastery button, okay? That's going to bring you over to your mastery screen. You have offense, um, defense, and utility, okay? What are masteries? Masteries are boosts, if you will. Um, they're kind of like a permanent um, ability or boost to an ability or stat that you can unlock and you can level up and you can keep that for all your characters. So starting out you have strength which is increases attack of all champions by a certain flat number and then after once you put one point in in the first one it unlocks the next one and it goes down the tree okay um, these ones that are um, bronze colored if you will like this guy Pierce that takes special things to unlock it now what that takes is if we go back over here to the store to unlock those you need to go up here to mastery and you see these stony core oh, go away Siri 
All right, Stony Core Masteries. Okay, Mastery Cores. 135 units to get those. These, if you can do it, all right, I know it's going to be tough. You're going to want to get new characters. You're going to want to level them up. I'm going to keep building that roster. But if you can hold off, okay, if you can just be okay with what you get from the daily crystal and your um, quest crystals and stuff like that, save those units and only buy these stony mastery cores, okay, for, for quite a long time, okay, because you need a lot of them, right? Save all of those units and just buy these, all right? When you buy these, you can use them to unlock these higher level masteries, which are going to help you out, like Pierce, right? That costs, I think, two or three of those cores to unlock it. Up here, I've got Precision. This is increasing the critical rating of all champions by 420. It's huge. It's a big difference, okay? But that's five levels, right? About every level that you level up, right? as a summoner, so I'm at level 65, or 56, uh, max level 60, you're going to start out at 1, go all the way up through, um, you get a point that you can spend in mastery, so you see here I have 0 points, you can recover them, and replace them if you want, and reshuffle them around, um, but like I said, you want to, you're going to want to save and get those stony mastery cores, so you can unlock these higher um, level stuff. Um, what should you be focusing on as a beginner? Okay, let's ignore offense for a little bit. Let's ignore defense for a little bit. The th very first thing that I want you as an absolute beginner to focus on is utility. What specifically? The very first one is limber, okay? that's going to reduce the amount of duration of a stun effect so if you get stunned which means you know they um, hit you with a special attack or something and you're kinda like standing there paralyzed and you're not able to move for a short duration um, it's gonna reduce that by a certain percentage of time alright just put one point in there okay one point you don't need any more when you're starting out as a beginner and maybe later on, down, way down the road, you choose to do more. But just one point, okay? That should be your first point you spend is there. The next point you should spend, I would highly recommend it be parry. This one, I believe, takes three of those stony cores to unlock. So that's, what, 390, 400 and 405 units, I think, to unlock this. But it's so worth it, I'm telling you, okay? It's so worth it. You gotta save those units, get those co stony cores, and unlock parry. Now, what does parry do? You notice when I was fighting there, when I timed my blocks perfectly, that allowed me to very short duration stun the opponent, okay? Um, and then I was able to keep hitting them. And then once I was done hitting them, I timed that block again, and boom, they're stunned, and I can just keep hitting them, right? So really this is giving you a function in the game that you don't otherwise have like when you block no matter how you time it without this you don't stun them all right you really should get this this is a function of the game that is considered very critical to being able to play it at all at any level you have to have this you don't have to but i i, I don't see how you can play this game and not have that it's a really it's a must you really should get it um, and the other one here is Dexterity. This one I only think costs one Stony Core, maybe two to unlock. Um, but th what this is doing is when you, uh, da when you dash back, when you dodge back, when you do that swipe back away, it's going to dodge any attack um, that comes your way. So like, that might seem like it's kind of redundant. Like, okay, I'm already dashing back. Doesn't that mean he's not going to hit me? Well, what about um, Iron Man? Okay, he shoots his uh, repulsor beam ray straight across the screen as one uncontinuous beam. You can't avoid that, right? All you can do is block it. If you have dexterity unlocked, if you time it just right, so as he shoots that at you and you swipe back, it will completely miss you and do zero damage, okay? It's also going to give you a quick little boost um, to your critical rating. Um, for the next time you hit them. Um, don't put any more than one point in this, ever, ever. It's really not important.
okay. You're going to get your critical rating boost from other places than this. Um, and 250 is plenty. This is, again, you're just looking for the functionality here. So what does this allow you to do? So like the special level 1 special and level 2 special, it's going to allow you to actually just completely dodge and evade those so you don't take any damage. Now that's an advanced skill, but it's definitely the first two that I recommend is Dexterity and Parry, okay? Focus on nothing other than these two. Get those two first, alright? Don't spend your mastery points anywhere else. That's my recommendation. Um, you can always reset them, you can always spend them again if you need to, if you don't follow my recommendation, but I really strongly suggest you do. Um, but it's going to take you a while to save up for them, okay? In the meantime, if you just can't let those mastery points sit, don't put any more than one point in strength and one point in greater strength I know it's going to be tempting, and especially in the, in the defense where you've got Vitality, which is increasing your health of all your champions by a flat rate, and then the next one increases it by a percent. It's going to be very tempting to dump all your points in there, but trust me, trust me, trust me. It is not going to help you much in the long run. It's If you're struggling and you're getting beat up and you're losing health, just got to keep practicing, keep studying the opponents, okay? And learn their moves, learn your moves, learn where you can get your hits and where not to get your hits. You know, when's the appropriate time to attack and when is the appropriate time to block and evade. And just focus on not getting hit, okay? Those are really not going to add much to you. It's going to feel like you're going to think, wow, I'm going to gain, you know, 1.6% health. If I get 9 points and I'm going to gain, um, what is it, all the way up to 8% health. Wow, it's amazing. It really doesn't matter, okay? If if you don't have the skill to fight them and not get completely clobbered all the time, having 8% health is not going to help you, okay? Um, so where to spend your points? I mean, you can put one in each of those like I have. Same thing over here on offense. I highly recommend Courage, okay? This is a free one. You don't have to spend those stony cores to unlock. You could put three points in this right away if you want. So when you get below 50% health, look at this. You're going to get, at level one, you get a 10% increase in attack. Okay? Um, once you get all three points in there, you're going to get a 20% increase in attack. Right? So if you're less than, if your health bar is less than 50% down, you're going to get a huge boost to your attack, which means you're going to be hitting them a lot harder and hopefully be able to finish that fight off. Okay? As you can see here, I heavily focus on offense. I highly believe it's better to hit harder rather than um, go defensive and just try to outlast them. Um, I like to stay in their face and hit them and, you know, take the fight to the opponent and end it quick. That's my style. The off defense is possible too. Um, I wouldn't worry about pierce until you get the other two unlocked, until you get parry and you get dexterity. Um, this is nice. It's a stepping stone to get to these other ones out here, like Precision and uh, Cruelty. Um, those are ones you really want to aim for on the long term, but get Parry, get Dexterity first. Parry first, Dexterity second. Then come over here, you can put one point in Strength, put one point in Greater Strength. I'd go ahead and put three points in Courage. Um, defense, you can put one point in each of these. Vitality, greater vitality. Um, you could put one, you know, up to four points in block proficiency. That's going to increase the amount of, uh, or the reduction. It's going to reduce more damage when you're blocking. Um, so you're not taking as much damage when you're getting those blocked hits. So I would highly recommend that. That's always a good one. Um, then be once you have those. The next one to go for, I would say, would be either Pierce. Honestly, if you're starting out very beginner, um, go with this. Unlock Salve, okay? Do that one next and try to get three points in it. Um, your champion recovers four health twice per second for 60 seconds. Um, no effect on robots. So if it's you know Vision or Ultron, you're not going to gain that. But any human-type character is going to get it. Um, or raccoon if it's rocket. <laughs> um, so that's four health twice per second. So every second 
excuse me, you're going to get eight health, okay, for 60 seconds. That's a pretty significant amount of health, especially when you're only fighting with two star characters. You're going to actually watch that health meter go back up, okay? Um, that's a really good one. So that would be my next one to recommend once you get those done, is get three points in salve, um, and then I'd start working on your offensive ones. Go for pierce, get three points in that, get one point in lesser precision, lesser cruelty, and then, again, just keep saving, saving, saving those units to buy those stony cores, because it's five cores to unlock precision and five cores to unlock cruelty. It's a lot, okay? Um, but it's totally worth it. And then way later you can get into these really crazy stuff over here, which starts getting insane. Um, and then beyond that, I would really look to get Stupefy. That's going to add ha at, th at three points in that. It's going to add a half a second additional um, time to any stun that you in inflict. So your parry stun is going to give you a half a second longer. That doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, when you're playing the game, it is a lot. Um, some characters shake off those stuns um, faster than others, like Rogue. Um, they only last 30% of the duration, so if you have that extra half second, you know, that's um, going to be a little bit extra time you have to work with, okay? Um, and that's Mastery. So that's my uh, recommendations. Again, save, save, save those units. Buy those Stony Cores. Spend them on Masteries. Don't spend them on Crystals. Please don't do it. Trust me, you're going to thank me in the long run if you don't. Um, you'll get plenty of crystals anyways and, and characters as you go. And yeah, so in conclusion, that's um, our beginner guide. I'm going to claim all my daily cards there. Um, that's our beginner guide. Oh, one last thing. Um, the stash is also here on the home screen. You can get to that, but you want to also do this calendar almost forgot this log in every day okay there's a monthly calendar and there's a weekly calendar so every seven days you go through here every consecutive day you log in you will earn these rewards as you can see it starts out pretty small amounts these are premium hero crystal shards okay but once you get to day seven like every week there's a thousand right at the end of the week plus what you built up that I think that's almost enough to build an entire premium hero crystal every week okay so again look at that you're getting them you're getting those rewards there to get your crystals so save your units for your masteries and let the crystals come through the rewards okay and through the shards so log in every day that's really important if you miss a day this resets back all the way over to here where you're only getting 25 so if you only get up to here to day four where I'm at and I don't log in tomorrow Oh, boom, I come back, I'm back down to 25, okay, and I miss that 1,000. So log in every day to get those. And then there's the monthly calendar, which you can just see right here is giving you some crazy good rewards, okay? Lots of really good stuff. You're getting units. Um, you're getting, what are these ones here? Crystal shard crystals, so these guarantee premium hero crystal shards with chance at 3 and 4 star um, crystal shards. So there you're getting more shards. You're getting energy refills, gold. Those are gold crystals there. They're going to give you more gold. And every month there's a featured hero. So if you log in all these consecutive days, and you cannot miss days, right? They're going to give you a character. And this is guaranteed to be a three star with a rare chance of being a four star. So at the end of this month of July, I'm going to get a three star archangel. Three star, there you go, right? Every month you're going to get a three star character if you're logging in regularly. Um, Plus, you also are going to get these, you know, catalysts here, and here's the tier four basic catalyst. That's a difficult one to come by. Those are really precious. Um, bunch of revives. So yeah, these. This is a great way to get your rewards and, and build up your roster without having to spend all your units on buying crystals. Okay. It's okay again if you buy some every now and then, but hey. Um, I really would recommend you hold off. And occasionally you'll see that something like this pop up, special offer, uh, three-star rank up package. Whoa, you just got a three stars. Give us 5, 000, or 500 units and we'll give you, you know, a couple tier one catalysts and some ISO and a whole ton of gold. And you're like, man, I would love to rank up my three-star character like right away. 
don't do it. I mean, if you can't see here right now, 500 units for some catalysts that you can just go and get from the daily events. Uh, there's, you know, there's three stony cores right there. That's that's parry unlocked. Don't do it, okay? Try to really hold off. These these offers are rarely ever worthwhile, okay? Um, I know they're going to be tempting, but really try to hold, steal yourself and hold off. Uh, sometimes it'll be a, a really good offer that's worthwhile, um, but does not very often. So, um, okay, that is all I have as far as I know. Oh, and if you go to the settings, you can go in here and you can hit log in and you can log in with your Kabam account. I highly recommend you do that. Do a Kabam account. Don't link with other things. Make a Kabam account. Um, that's the company that makes the game. You link it with that if you lose your phone, break your phone, update your phone to get a new one, um, or you just want to play on a different device, or you want to play on your iPad, or you want to play on your phone, um, you can log in with that, and it will bring all of your characters, all of your settings, all of your resources. It will always be there, okay? You won't ever lose anything. Um, I highly recommend that, so make sure you do that. And that is all. So we, this is our absolute beginner guide. I'm sorry it's so long, but there's a lot to cover. And I know that it can be very um, overwhelming, this game. There's a lot of game modes, There's as we talked about. Um, and it's hard to know when you start out which way to which way to go, uh, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. Um, so I hope this helps you. Um, if you like it, please uh, leave a like down below. Um, greatly appreciate that. Uh, check out my other videos here. Um, there'll be some links for some other videos here at the end. Um, also, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos. We're going to do another video. Um, and a little bit on alliance modes and stuff, which we didn't cover in this one because uh, we had enough time covering everything. Um, and yeah, if you want to support the channel, if you like what I do, I greatly appreciate that. You can find information of how to do that down in the uh, details below. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share with everybody, please. That helps me out greatly. Um, good luck. Have fun. And uh, we'll see you next time for smashing some more stuff. Take care.